Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Ah, welcome my friends to the playoff edition of the lightning round. We start Northeast Missouri District Championship night in area baseball. The biggie tonight at Edina, Scotland County and Canton going at it. Canton up early two to nothing, but Aaron Buford quells any further uprise right here. But Canton would re-extend. Cooper Hudnut right here with a ball that just kind of finds its way through to make it 3-1 to one Canton at that point. Scotland County playing on its heels most of the night, but playing back well in this one. Jacob Blessing with a getaway ball to cut the lead at that point to 3-2. to two. Canton re-extends back up to 4-2. to two. Check it out right here. Swinging bat single right here for Aaron Buford, and it's 4-3 to three in the seventh inning. Canton with a chance to close it out, but they could not come up with a clean play here. And in that seventh inning, the rally continues for Scotland County as they would force extra innings as simply as a play like this. And that, my friends, forces the extra frames. In fact, we'd get nine of them tonight. Pick it up in the ninth inning. Still four all. Grant Campbell to play your hero. Logan Brown, the outstanding shortstop from Canton, nearly gets this. That turns out to be the go-ahead run, and in the bottom of the ninth, Kyler Berkheiser, Berkheiser, I should say, closes things out with his defense. Scotland County is your district champion, and boy, are these kids excited. Moving on to the sectional as the Tigers finally get that monkey off their back. They're moving on with a big-time victory tonight. Up next for them, a showdown with a team going to its first ever sectional. The Louisiana Bulldogs getting it done tonight, knocking off Clopton over at South Shelby, 9-6 to your final. Cullen of House Stark with a home run to help lead his team to victory. As I read it, that game on Monday will be Louisiana hosting Scotland County. Time yet to be determined. Other big news on the night. Check out North Shelby with the upset of Community R6 night 9 to nothing. Fostered by a great an outstanding pitcher to pitching effort tonight from Chaz Shockley. Two hit complete gamer. North Shelby will host Atlanta coming up on Monday for a sectional title as well. Let's move you over to Illinois tonight. Pick it up. Oh, we've got Class 1A regional fun between Western and Brown County. Actually, we're going to start you off in this one with West Central taking on Griggsville Perry. And that is Brady Schultz leading West Central to the early lead. Kendall Hannett, the first inning, his team down 2 to nothing, comes in an emergency relief, quills the uprise there. Bottom of the first, Caleb Bradshaw, who have a big night, drives in an RBI to have that West Central lead. But in the top of the second, more from West Central. Trying the upset bid, Tyler Strohaker right here with the RBI single. And that would lead to this. Bases loaded for Brady Schultz. Again, this kid, an RBI machine tonight, had his team up. With a chance to drive home three, two of them come home clean. Griggsville Perry guns the run at home, but Griggsville Perry, the one seed, was trailing in this game 5-1 to one at that point. However, the Tornadoes would erupt. Do what a number one seed does right here. It's Jordan Dehart with the sack fly to spur the comeback, and it would be Griggsville Perry winning and advancing by the final count in this one tonight. Big time win for them of 11-7. to seven. Meanwhile, Brown County and Western also played. We'll cut to those highlights. Bailey we see with a beautiful pitching effort tonight. However, his Hornet offense only gave him four hits of offense behind him. However, they got their money's worth as a two-run error right here by Western kind of turns the tables and gives the Brown County Hornets a two-to-nothing lead. Now Western would respond. Noah Lynch right here with a solo home run, big-time blast. Tries to get his team fired up with not only that, but a furious roar coming around third base to get the, the uh, bats roaring, but they would never come back to life. Bailey Weesey just really good on the hill tonight. Absolutely shuts down Western, so it will be Brown County and Griggsville Perry going at it in the championship game coming up on Saturday. Meanwhile, more Class 1A fun tonight. This time, Pace and Seymour and Central going at it over at Unity. The Panthers would strike first with a runner on third. Zach Foote, who had a big night tonight, sack fly to center. Mr. Eric Lee, who's so darn speedy, scores to make it one to nothing Central. Payson would respond, though, in the second. Clayton Conrad doing his thing. A double right through center. Brady Ash comes home. The Indians would take a 2-1 lead. Central not looking back in this ball game. However, Ryan Freiberg going to take a one-handed swipe that falls into center coming up right here. Scores Noah Deerwester, who had a huge night tonight, and Eric Lee as well. And then Taylor Hyman adding and contributing to it with a big-time shot. Coming up here off the fence, the Raiders win this thing going away tonight. 13-2 to would be your final in five innings. I should say the Panthers win it going away 13-2 to in five. 
Up next for them, the winner of tonight's Unity Liberty Showdown tonight. How would this one shake down? Unity down 7-2 to in this game. Jared Dunker guns down the runner at third base right here. Good defense for the Mustangs. Tate and Rowe, though, going to do some things on the hill right here for Liberty. Shutting down the Unity offense big time in this game tonight. Great pitching effort from him. And then Mr. Kyle Lynch, big night for guys named Lynch with a home run to kind of put this thing away and put it on ice as Liberty gets the victory in this one by the final count of 9-2. to two. Class 2A action night, Pittsfield pulling off the major upset. Corbin Personette, a couple of ribbies. Pittsfield will take on the winner of Beardstown Riverton to be determined tomorrow. And look at Illini West punching a ticket to showdown again with McComb coming up on Saturday as Illini West dispatches with a good West Hancock team. Also on the docket tonight, we've got some softball to pass along tonight. It will be West Hancock and Illini West going in at at it coming up in the big time showdown over at the Scioto Regional coming up on Saturday as Sydney Sawyer's home run is the difference in this ball game though it went to extra innings in eight tonight. Also, West Central will be the next opponent for Grigsville Perry in the championship game at Winchester on Saturday. Sydney Rock's home run helps keep the homestanders alive and kicking. We've got some news to pass along. Huge day for Illini West over in Charleston. State track and field qualifying day today. Illini West had nine potential finalists. They get nine through, including the fastest four by one and four by four relays in the class today. And your usual suspects, Ms. Groenwald, Ms. Carlisle, Ms. McElroy, Ms. Garnett. So congratulations to all of them. The only other local qualifier for the finals, Pleasant Hills, Rachel Clowers, who qualifies for the finals in the shot put. Congratulations to her. Some regular season soccer pa pa action to pass along tonight from Southeast Iowa. Keokuk, too much for Burlington, Notre Dame. And it would be Fort Madison going on the road and beating Holy Trinity tonight. Two to nil. Braxton Williams with a pair of goals there. Also some news to pass along. Jeff Moore, the embattled Macomb soccer coach, has resigned. He had a chance to apply for reinstatement but opted not to do so after the whole hazing scandal that broke this past during the course of this past season during the course of the spring. Let's do a little softball for you tonight. Q and D taking on Quincy High School. Always fun when these two teams catch up. Q and D up four to nothing at this point in the second. Peyton Odin grounds it into a fielder's choice. A run scores. Q and D extends its lead to five to nothing. The Lady Raiders never going to look back in this match.